This is the Chinese cooking channel called Chinese Cooking Channel. Today we're doing chicken and Shanghai noodles stir fry. So this is a very popular dish, a very simple dish. We're gonna cook the uh, noodles right here on the beach. So this is a package of Shanghai noodles. So these are thick and chewy noodles. So in this package there's uh, one and a third pounds or roughly uh, 600 grams. So we have a pot of boiling water going. So put the package of noodles into the water. So just leave the noodles in the boiling water for about a minute. So we're ready to put the noodles into the cold running water. Pour the noodles into the strainer. Just run some cold water into the noodles. So this will help the noodles from overcooking. For this recipe, we'll put about half a carrot in there just to give the uh, Shanghai noodles uh, some color. So I'm going to keep the carrot pieces at about one, one and a half inch long. So just cut that in half. So that should be enough. That's about half an onion there. So depending how much cabbage you want, we'll just do a eighth of a cabbage to see what it looks like. So just slice the cabbage fairly thin. Makes it easier to cook, faster to cook too. I think eight, eighth of a cabbage is enough, so I'm just going to go with that. We've got the meat of two uh, drumsticks. So I'm going to put about two tablespoons of uh, cooking oil and then I'm going to put maybe a half, maybe a half teaspoon of cornstarch. A few sprinkles of sesame oil and maybe a teaspoon of uh, light soy sauce. So just uh, mix the uh, chicken up. So marinate the chicken uh, for at least uh, say three hours. You can marinate overnight for better flavor and it should be also more tender. So put it in the fridge for about three hours. So first you put uh, about two tablespoons of cooking oil in. I just use a regular coin oil. Just add the uh, veggies in there. So give the veggies a quick stir fry. Then you add about a teaspoon of salt. We cooked the noodles for one minute in boiling water. So because we're cooking on the beach, I did that at home. So just add the noodles to the wok. Then you add uh, one tablespoon of uh, soy sauce. I use a light soy sauce. You can add some dark soy sauce for more color if you like. I think Jim's in Brazil, is he? Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Because I was going to ask him to uh, go to Brazil, Chinatown. Oh, yeah. Video something over there. He's supposed to be in Brazil. Hey, hey, Jim. <laughs> Jim. I, Hello. I, I, Hello. So when do you come back? Uh, yesterday at about 11. Oh, okay, because I was going to email you to do the video for the uh, Chinatown. <laughs> video for Chinatown? I talked to you about it, remember? Yeah, I know, but there is no Chinatown. Oh, there's no China it's Chinatown? Well, there is now. They, they're they just creating one. Because you have a portable grill, you might uh, want to cover your wok with tinfoil, so it keeps the heat in better. <laughs> Hello, hello. Hello. You made it. 
<laughs> you didn't happen to bring plates, did you? Uh, I brought one for myself. Okay. <laughs> like a bowl of things. <laughs> well, I'm tempted to go talk to I you. I should have just bought it yeah. yesterday. I should have just okay. bought plates yesterday. Today yeah. we're having stir fry. Uh, no, they really got to bring the plates for the uh, picnic. So it's uh, chicken and Shanghai noodles in a plastic cup. So there you have it, chicken and Shanghai noodles, stir fry. Enjoy. That was. So this is what happens when you put your stove over a uh, plastic table. <laughs> so you get a big hole like this. So that's one thing not to do. So on the other side. <clears throat> so this is what it looks like on the other side. So you can see the plastic come out. So this is what it looks like on the other side. So the plastic is actually melted. <laughs>